Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So we're doing something a little bit different today on my channel. I don't usually do first impressions types of videos. One, because I'm not typically trying out a ton of product all the time. I tend to stick with a lot of products that I already like. I'll, t I'll get new stuff here and there but I don't, I don't really ever have enough product to do a first impressions. Two, y'all seem to really like more in-depth reviews so I'll test stuff on the side and then come together and do a more in-depth video but today um, I had quite a few products that I haven't tried yet and I wanted to test them out on camera with y'all and see how y'all liked this type of video I've got a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes I've got some cool brushes I've got a primer um, so I don't have a full face but I do have quite a few products that I want to share with y'all and we're just gonna do this together I'm kind of figuring out if I like these products with y'all so this is a true first impressions type of video before we get into it though if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I would greatly appreciate it also click on that notification bell that'll notify you every single time that I post a new video I try to post every Monday Wednesday Friday but I am a mom of two boys and sometimes I can't always get up a third video for the week but definitely two videos a week so definitely hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I do post a new video so that you don't miss miss out. So if y'all want to see how I did this really pretty fun warm not really fall makeup look but I was just kind of feeling a red lip and kind of gold on the eyes. So if y'all want to see how I did this using a bunch of new products and brushes then just keep watching. All right, so let's get into it. I'm super excited this video. I don't really do a lot of videos about trying out new products, so I actually have a pretty good amount of products to try out for y'all, and I'm really excited. And I do want to mention that Undone Beauty did send me a lot of the products that I'm using today, so I just want to let y'all know. This video is not sponsored, but they did send me um, their brushes and a few of the eyeshadow palettes, so I'll let y'all know as we go. Um, what products they sent me and then some of the products that I'm using today from Undone Beauty I already had and I already love so um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in I'm gonna prep my skin with a little bit of this Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Floral Toner because I am gonna be using the Andalou Naturals CC Cream so I figured we should probably use them together so I recently just watched a video by Emily Noel, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, and she was talking about how much she liked this Maybelline Blur Stick, and it's a tinted pore minimizing primer, and honestly, if I saw this at the drugstore, I probably would not pick this up, but because she said that she really liked it and she noticed um, a big difference in the way her skin looked with foundation on top, of course I had to go get it. And it intrigued me because it is tinted, so I don't know if you can wear this on its own, if it has enough coverage to be worn alone, or if it's tinted but not really. So I'm going to try using this today, and I guess I'm going to first focus this on the areas where I do have the largest pores so um, that's usually right here kind of around my nose I got the shade um, medium tan because I usually have quite a bit of color to my face but this is looking a little bit dark but that's okay because once we blend it out it should hopefully blend out just fine but I'm gonna start there see how this goes and then I'm just gonna take a buffing brush and blend this out I literally have no idea how I'm gonna like this. I have not tried this at all. So it's definitely giving my skin a little bit of color. So I kind of want to see if this can be worn alone. Because um, if it's something that's comparable to the nude sticks, um, their foundation that they recently came out with, something like that, that would be really cool. So I'm gonna apply this all over and see how that works. Alright, so it's definitely giving my skin some color. Um, I don't know if it's like a noticeable amount of coverage. Um, probably the most sheer coverage foundation that I own is Face and Body by MAC. This is definitely a lot less than less coverage than that. So I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously you can wear this alone. Um, and this might be good for no makeup days when you literally don't want to wear makeup, but you just want to kind of even out your skin and kind of minimize the appearance of pores um, but it's got a tacky 
finish to it. So we'll see how the foundation applies on top of this, but I'm not quite sure about this yet. Oh, and then one thing I wanted to apply before we get into the makeup is this lip balm. Okay, so this is the Undone Beauty Lip Life um, with Soothing Shea, Jojoba, and Rose Hip. It's a moisturizing sheer balm with a gentle exfoliating applicator. I did try this out in my first Undone Beauty video when I placed a really big order and I was trying out a bunch of their stuff. Um, I did not try the clear version. I actually tried one that had a tint to it. I wasn't a huge fan of this product, um, but in that video I think I did mention that I actually wanted to try the clear one because I just, I wasn't a huge fan of the tinted, I don't know, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I like my Burt's Bees tinted lip balm better, but we're going to try the clear one out. So I'm taking the little uh, exfoliator tip and just running that along my lips. It's just kind of these rubber bristles. So now I'm gonna try and apply the balm, and this is clear again. And I think my biggest thing with this is that when you're applying the lip balm, because the exfoliator, or because the applicator does have those uh, kind of bristles, it doesn't apply the lip balm very evenly. So I think the concept is cool. I just maybe wish that there was one end with the exfoliating tip and then another end to apply it or something, or you'll just have to apply it to your finger and then apply it to your lips because when you're applying it with the exfoliating applicator, it just doesn't really feel that great and it doesn't apply it very evenly. Um, the balm itself is all right. It's not a really thick moisturizing balm, which is personally what I prefer. So it's not my favorite formula. But, I mean, I think this is just a good, very lightweight, easy, kind of throw-in-your-purse type of product. Um, but it's not something that I would necessarily reach for all the time. Alright, and for foundation, I'm going to be using a new one. I have worn this before. I've worn it once. That's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and try this out again. This is the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Color and Correct uh, CC Cream. Um, it's got an SPF of 30 and it has rose stem cells. It says it's good for sensitive skin. I got the shade Sheer Tan. I actually went to Whole Foods and got this. They had testers, so I was able to test out the color. And the shade below this was too light for me. So even though it says Sheer Tan, it's not tan in the sense that you would think. It's actually really, really light. So... Um, I'm just going to read some of the stuff on the back. It says, The first CC cream with alpine rose stem cells provides soft sheer mineral coverage with essential hydration and proven broad spectrum sun protection for a flawless looking complexion. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Again, I have used this before. I'm going to take it on the back of my hand first. Um, it's a pretty thick cream. So as you can tell, it's not moving on my hand. It's pretty thick. So I'm going to just kind of dot this all over my face. So, as you can see, this is sheer tan, and it is not tan by any means, so I think the names are a little deceiving. The texture and the consistency definitely reminds me a lot of the CC Cream by IT Cosmetics. Um, it definitely does not provide the coverage that the IT Cosmetics CC Cream has. And I find that this one is actually pretty oily, so I think if you are... Uh, oily and you may not like this um, but yeah sh coverage is pretty minimal which I don't mind because I don't really like a ton of coverage anyway it definitely smells like roses it actually smells just like the floral toner so it has the exact same scent so that is the CC cream blended out all over my skin very 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 minimal coverage um, it does give the skin a nice glow, as you can see, and when you kind of squeeze it out on your hand, if you don't shake it up really well, it does tend to separate, so there is a little bit of like an oiliness to it. Um, I don't know what ingredient would be causing that, but uh, very minimal coverage, very dewy, glowy complexion. I think this is going to be beautiful for the colder months because my skin tends to get super, super, super dry. And I think this is just going to look really pretty. I wish the shade was more true to the name, and I wish they had more shade selections. But with BB and CC creams, you typically don't get a ton of shade variety, which is disappointing. And I'm just kind of rubbing my hands across my skin. I always like to feel what the products look like. My skin feels so smooth, 
and I'm pretty sure it's the primer that I applied because the first time that I applied the CC cream I don't remember my skin feeling this soft and smooth it feels like I just had a facial or something my skin feels so nice and everything just looks really good and seamless and really pretty so so far that primer is sitting really nicely on the skin and it, my skin just feels really nice and soft and supple so because the CC cream has very minimal coverage I'm gonna go in with my favorite Ben Nye concealer and I'm just gonna apply this to areas where I need a little bit more coverage my skin's actually looking pretty good right now so I don't need a ton more coverage but I usually get a little bit of redness right here on my cheeks and then I have these little spots right here from a little breakout that I had I'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer and apply this to my under eye as well I don't have any new powders so I'm just gonna really quickly set my under eye with my number seven perfect light pressed powder in the shade translucent and then for the rest of my face I'm just gonna go in with wet n wild so undone beauty did send me a lot of their brushes and I'm gonna try and use this one to bronze and contour my face so this is the uh, one touch one touch contour brush it says patent pending design for curve hugging blend blurring application a foundation blush bronzer and more and I actually did go online and kind of see how they said to use it and it looked like um, they use this brush mainly for contouring and it really does hug the cheek the shape of it um, it's really curved to fit your cheekbones so on the back of the packaging it says that you can use it for your under eye, which I, I should have done that. Maybe I'll use a little bit of powder under my eye. And then it says contouring, foundation, blush, bronzer, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I don't know if I would use this for foundation. It's a really interesting shape, and I don't know if I could really blend my foundation out very well with this. But I'm going to really quickly use this with a little bit of my under eye powder. I'm going to just see how this would work. So I don't think I would love this for using under my eye. For me, like this e.l.f., um, what is this? The e.l.f. blush brush. It's really fluffy and I can really kind of get the powder under there and really press it into my skin. This one, I feel like I can't really push the powder into or in my under eye. It's a little bit more flimsy and it, it's obviously a lot skinnier. So I don't know if I'd like that for my under eye, but I'm going to try it for bronzer. I do want to mention that these brushes are really, really nice. They're very heavy. The handles are really sturdy. And I was actually looking online and it says they're handcrafted patent pending luxury quality they're vegan and they're cruelty free so I'm actually going to use the undone beauty bronzer I want to use the bronzer that actually goes with the brush this is the warm-up bronzer I love this bronzer I talk about this all the time but I'm going to use this for bronzer today I'm honestly kind of nervous because my favorite type of bronzer brush is something really big and fluffy like this that I can just sweep across the face so this is quite different. This might be good more for contouring, but I'm just going to take a little bit of the lighter shade and we're just going to try this. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me zoom y'all in. So I think this brush would be really nice for contouring. I don't know if y'all can see that. I mean, y'all can definitely see that. It is creating the most perfect contour right on my cheek. That's actually pretty awesome. I was not expecting that at all. And I like that the brush is quite flimsy. It's got a nice bit of movement to it, so it's not packing on a ton of powder and it's not making it look too harsh. This is actually really nice. So I think with this brush, um, you, can, you should apply it with this brush, but then maybe go in with a fluffier brush and then kind of blend it out so it's not so harsh. Ooh, that is super nice. I seriously was not expecting that. I actually really enjoy this. Okay, we're gonna try the other side. So I'm using the longer side of the brush. I'm using that, um, that, that part is on top. 
and it literally just hugs your cheekbone like you don't even have to think about it whoops Ooh, that's a little strong okay See, I don't think I tapped that off as much. I'm gonna go in with my blending brush. Ooh, look at that. So I think um, this brush is really nice, but I think you're gonna need to use it in conjunction with something like this just to help blend it out. Unless you're using a bronzer or contour that's super light and um, doesn't lay down a ton of color, then maybe you can get away with just using this brush. I'm gonna try it on my forehead as well. Oof, oof, oof. All right, all right, all right. I applied way too much. But it just fits the curves of your face so well. Like, it's just, I don't know if y'all can see that. It just fits the curve of your forehead, like, perfectly. I'm going to take some down my nose as well. Ooh, you can use it to contour your nose as well. Alright, so my final thoughts on this brush, I think this is an awesome brush for contouring. It really just fits your cheekbone so nicely. And I like that this is longer at the top because it's got a lot more movement, it's a lot more fluid. This is a lot more dense, so you're really packing the majority of the bronzer or contour right here where you're going to want the most color. And then kind of up here at the top, it's a lot more diffuse, so it kind of does the work for you. So I really like this. I think you do need to use this in conjunction with a larger, fluffier brush just to really help blend it out because it can come off a little bit strong um, but I really like this it works really nicely on the forehead as well I'm gonna also use it to apply my highlight so I'm just gonna take a combination of the two in this palette and I'm just gonna use mainly this kind of more flimsy longer part of the brush I'm gonna kind of use that across the tops of my cheeks all right so that's nice I don't think I would reach for this for highlighting but it definitely works. It gets the job done. And then I have this other brush. This is the Seamless brush. It's for the face and the body. So I'm actually going to use this to apply a little bit of highlight to my shoulders. Um, it looks like this. It's kind of one of those palm brushes that you hold with your entire hand. Um, it says uh, a no makeup finish creates contours and applies body bronzer and highlighter to every curve. So this is definitely more for the body. It does say that you can use it on your face, um, maybe like this. I don't know, this seems a little bit large for the face. But I'm gonna apply some of my highlighter to my body. I think this is gonna be perfect for that little shoulder pop. So I'm just gonna stick my brush right in there. There we go. And I'm telling, these brushes are so soft. There we go, look at that. Okay, let's do the other side. It's really nice, it just hugs your shoulder perfectly. Did y'all know I love a good shoulder highlight? So I'm digging it. And then you're also sp supposed to be able to use this for bronzing, so if you wanted to take some bronzer along your decollete and on your chest, you can do that as well. So this is really nice. I'm actually just really impressed with the quality of the brushes. The brush hairs are super, super soft. Alright, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera because I don't have any new brow products and I do my brows the exact same way all the time. So moving on to eyeshadows, I am super excited about this. So this is an eyeshadow palette that I already have by Undone Beauty. This is the Curie Eye Palette in Soul. I love this palette. I've raved about it so many times. These shimmery shades, like especially this gold shade right here, is gorgeous um, it's such a unique formula it's nothing that I I'm familiar with in any of my other palettes I was kind of looking through my collection to see what other brands have this type of formula and it really is unique it's kind of a powder that feels super super creamy and I think the first thing that came to mind was Lorac but Lorac eyeshadows have a ton of fallout and kick up um, and I have quite a few Lorac palettes and these don't have any kind of kick up or fallout. Um, they're almost kind of an oily type of feel, really, really creamy and I love these. I think they're just so unique and I don't have any eyeshadows like these and I have a lot of eyeshadows. So I now have the Smoke palette 
and the soft palette. So I'm super excited to play around these. This soft one looks gorgeous just for every day. You've got your nice kind of neutrals down here, but then you've got some pops of color. And then the smoke palette has your more deeper shades, a lot more blues and greens, but you still have these nice kind of highlight shades. I just, I'm so excited to play with these. So I'm first going to prep my eyes with a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to go in with my Ben Nye concealer and apply this all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my number seven powder and I'm only going to set from the crease to the brow just to help with any blending but I want to keep my eyelid nice and tacky and I find with these shadows um, they really do adhere to tackiness and a nice tacky base so I want to keep my eyelid tacky so I was looking at the palettes and the one shade that really called out to me this is so unique and I know people say this all the time, but I truly do not have a shade like this in my collection at all. So it's this, I don't know if y'all be able to see this. This is this gorgeous duochrome kind of yellowish green shade, but it's got this shift to it and it's so pretty. I don't know if my camera will do it justice, but it's, it's like a greenish yellow with an orange peachy shift to it. It's not too orange, it's like a like more of a peachy shift, but I just think that is so, so pretty. So I think I wanna play with this shade today. And I'm just gonna take that shade on my finger and I'm gonna apply this all over my eyelid and then we'll just kind of work from there. And you are able to use these uh, eyeshadows wet or dry. They say you can use them as eyeshadows. You can wet them and make them more like liners. So they are specifically created for that type of method. But I'm just using them dry and it's stunning. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit of my bronzer because there isn't a, uh, like, there's really no matte shades in here. There's only one and it's kind of this really light cream shade so I'm gonna take my bronzer I'm gonna take that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna run that through the crease all right so I did get this eyeshadow and liner brush um, you're supposed to be able to use it for blending eyeshadow all over the lid um, you can use it for the under eye and then also it's got an angled shape that's supposed to kind of fit your eye and it's supposed to help you create a wing let's see how do they do this okay so like this it's supposed to help you create a wing I think I'm gonna do a wing uh, maybe like a wings liner look or something in a different video um, using this brush and kind of see how it works but I am going to use this for my under eye today so first I want to play with this shade it's this kind of gold coppery shade and I really want some depth to this look so I'm gonna focus this just right on the outer corner of my eye And right now I'm only using the soft palette, so I haven't used any shades from the smoke palette. And then I'm actually going to spritz my brush with a little bit of my facial mist, just to give it a little bit more of a pop. It's not really um, sticking to the shadow that I've already applied. Alright, so I'm applying it wet, and that made a huge difference. It's definitely laying down a lot more color now and then I'm also going to take this same shade and I'm going to bring that on the inner corner as well and I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush and more of my bronzer and blend along the edges of that coppery shade alright so now I'm going to put this little angled brush to the test I'm going to take that same whoops that same coppery shade. The only bad thing about this packaging is there's no mirror, so I'm having to hold a mirror and hold this, so that's why I'm kind of having issues. I'm going to take it on that angled brush, and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. This brush, it definitely hugs the lower lash line really nice. It's a little bit scratchy, like I'm finding it's a little bit uncomfortable, um, but I think it's maybe because it's so thin. I don't know, but it's it's a little bit scratchy, especially the uh, longer edge of the brush. 
um, kind of scratching my eye. All right, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my bronzer and blend that out. All right, so just to intensify the uh, lighter shade on the center of the lid, I'm going to take my uh, facial mist, I'm going to spritz my finger, get it nice and damp. I'm going to go back in with that shade and I'm going to pop that right on the center of my lid just to re-intensify that. I've been doing a lot of blending and sometimes when you're blending a lot of shades, it can kind of diminish some of the shadows. That looks a lot better. And then I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush. Just make sure it's nice and soft. I'm going to go and curl my lashes, apply some mascara off camera, and then we will be right back. So I went ahead and applied a ton of mascara. I'm going to do a little bit of liner. So I'm going to use this NYX Slide On Glide On in Golden Bronze. Looks like this. I just think this will complement all these coppery, bronzy tones we have going on. Then I'm going to go back in, oh, do I want to use this one? No, maybe I'll use, I'm going to go in with the Soul palette, which is the one that I already had, looks like this, and I'm going to take the kind of gold champagne shade, apply that to my brow bones, actually, I can go in with my highlighters, because this one's more gold, that's, a, that's kind of the shade I was really wanting. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. Oh, so pretty. Alright, so last but not least, I'm going to do a lip. And of course, I'm going to do a red lip. Because I feel like with these kind of orangey, yellow, coppery tones on the eyes, I think a red lip is just going to look gorgeous for this. I actually have a lip brush. This is the Precision the precision Brush, right? Yes, Precision Brush. Um, defines lip line and creates fullness effect. So I'm going to use this to apply my lipstick. Today I'm going in with the Joa uh, Matte Gel Lipstick in the shade Bow. I showed this in my Joa review video. I love this lipstick. I love the formula, the color. Everything about this is gorgeous. But the packaging is awful because you can't... Uh, ooh, you can't be precise with this, like you have to use a lip brush. So I'm going to use my lip brush with this today. Alright, so this lip brush, mm, I'm not really sure. So I like the shape. I can see where they're kind of going with this, where it really kind of fits the cupid's bow and you can kind of define the lips but it's so flimsy that when you're going in to define your lips the the hairs of the brush are kind of separating and it doesn't define your lips it ends up actually making it a little bit messy and then when you go in to apply the lip product it's not dense enough and I feel like because it's too long it's not really packing on a ton of color. So what I had to keep doing was actually apply the lipstick, use the lip brush, and kind of move it around, which is fine, and I know that some people apply their lipstick like that with a brush, but for me, I like a more dense lip brush, something that's going to really pack it on, and I can get really precise along the lip line. I mean, it's not awful, but I just, like, it's almost making this a little bit more difficult rather than easier. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Matte Lip Liner in Matte in Manhattan and kind of clean up the edges. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to kind of sum up the products that I use today, the new products I use, and kind of let you know what my impressions are at this moment. I just looked in my mirror, really studied my skin, looked at it to see what I thought, and I definitely have some opinions about the products that I use today. So first things first is this primer. This is the Maybelline Master Blur Stick. My skin looks so smooth like I I usually I mean I have pretty good skin okay I have pretty good skin I don't have a lot of issue with pores and foundation kind of settling in and texture and all that and my skin usually looks pretty good pretty smooth this primer makes it look 
better. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't, and I don't mean to sound cocky when I say that because I just have good skin. My skin just looks really good and I don't really have an issue with pores, but my skin looks better and I didn't even know that it could be better. So I am so pumped with this primer. I'm definitely going to test it out a lot more, wear it for long periods of time because that's really going to show uh, really how good this product is. You know, you definitely want your makeup to be able to last, but my skin just looks like baby skin. I look like I don't have any kinds of issues. It looks so smooth. There's, I don't even look like I have pores. Like that's crazy, even on my nose. So I'm so excited to keep using this and I really like it so far. Uh, the Andalou Natural CC Cream, I like this. Do I think you need to go out and spend your money on it? No, but for me, I love when makeup and skincare are combined because I typically don't like to wear makeup because I don't, I, I tend to break out a lot more when I do wear makeup. So when I can get a product that's got good skincare benefits and it's got a nice coverage to it, um, then I'm all about it. And I really do like this. I think it looks beautiful. I think there are a lot of drugstore options that look just as gorgeous as this, but they don't have the added skincare benefits. I think the only other new products that I used were these two eyeshadow palettes, the soft palette and the smoke palette. The formula is exactly like the other eyeshadow palette I have, which is in Seoul. These eyeshadows are amazing. I really do not, I cannot think of any other formula like these. They're so different, so unique. Downside is um, they're basically all shimmery. You're not going to have any mattes in here, so you are going to have to pull in other products. But even if you just want to add this to your collection, just to add some cool lid toppers, some metallic shades, some glittery shades, and you can use a palette for your eyes, but then if you just want to add a little bit of sparkle, you can just kind of take one of these shades and pat it on your lids, and it just gives the eyes such a cool glossy effect. So hands down, love these eyeshadow palettes. In terms of of brushes so I really really liked uh, these two brushes um, this was the face and body brush it was the big brush that kind of fits into the palm of your hand I love using this for the little shoulder action and then this contour brush surprised me so much I actually really like this if you like contouring or you like more of that kind of chiseled or a um, really precise bronzer contour application I think you're gonna really love this brush even for me someone who likes to just dust bronzer all across the skin I actually really did enjoy this um, I definitely think that you need to use it with another fluffier brush just to help blend out any kind of harshness that it may give your face but I really love this brush. I'm definitely going to be uh, using this a lot more. So the other two brushes that I tried out, the kind of liner and definer brush and then the lip brush. Not a huge fan of the lip brush. I probably won't use this for my lips. Honestly, I'll probably use it for my eyes and we'll kind of see how that works. And then I'll do another video using this uh, liner brush and I'll see how it works with winged liner. Um, it felt a little scratchy to me. That's kind of my first impressions of this, but I'll definitely keep putting these to the test. Kind of use them in different ways, um, maybe than what they're labeled as, and I might like them and enjoy them a little bit more. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, if you like first impressions types of videos, please give this a big thumbs up. I know I don't do them very often, and that's really because I'm not testing out a ton of product all the time, or if I do, I tend to do more specific reviews so that y'all can really get an idea of what I think about the product. But if you like more of these first impressions, please let me know. Leave a comment, like this video. I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.